All right, guys, we got another work through video. This is segments day two. We didn't have time in class really to work on it today. There's a lot that we've learned, um, but I'm going to work through this. I'm going to go at kind of a quick pace. So if you need help on factoring, if you need help on the properties, you're going to want to go and watch those videos. As I am going to move kind of quick through this, I'm going to multiply quickly. I'm going to factor quickly. Um, this is more for you just to see it, um, but I'm not going to go into real deep explanations. So the first situation is outside times total. X times X plus 2 equals outside times total. The total would be X plus 8. We're adding the whole thing together. And make sure you combine like terms. That would be X squared plus 2X equals 2X plus 16. Here, the 2x's cancel out, leaving you with x squared equals 16, so x equals plus or minus 4. But can you plug in a negative 4? Not on this one, because x can't be negative. So negative 4 is out, positive 4 is the only one that works. Second situation, if two tangents start at the same place and hit the same circle, they have to be the same size. So we know that x squared minus 2x plus 9 fourths equals 7x squared plus 5x plus 17 fourths. So we need to make one side 0. So I'm going to subtract x squared, giving me 6x squared. That's gone. I'm going to add 2x, giving me 7x. That's gone. And I'm going to subtract 9 fourths. Well, 17 minus 9 is 8. So really, that's 8 fourths, which is which is just 2. All right, and that equals 0 now. So we moved everything over. This is one of the new factoring questions. Again, if you need extra help with factoring, go to that video or come in for tutoring. But 6 times 2 is 12. What factors of 12 add up to 7? It's going to be 4 and 3. So I make my parentheses. I know it can't be 6 and 1 because does 6 produce 4? Nope. Does 6 produce 3? Nope. So it has to be 3 and 2. 3 times 1 gets me 3. 2 times 2 gets me 4. So there's my factors. So I need to undo that. So what would? Uh, how do I undo 3x plus 2? I subtract 2, divide by 3. I subtract 1, I divide by 2. And those are my answers. Negative 1 half and negative 2 thirds. So you have to know how to undo, right? We talked about it's what makes it zero. Don't just think, oh, I just move it over. No, it's what makes it zero. You'd have to subtract two, divide by three. That's how you would undo that and make it zero. All right, on this one, we have a, a, a piece of a circle. It's called a segment of a circle. They tell us that the widest section is four, and that has to make a right angle. We measure heights at a right angle. This is going to cut into six and six. So the steps never change. We draw the rest of the circle, and we draw the rest of the diameter. Call the rest of the diameter x. So we do part 4 times x, part times part, equals part times part. So 4x equals 36. x equals 9. So the diameter equals 9 plus 4, right? The diameter is the whole thing. That's 13. So the radius would be 13 halves. So the area would be pi times 13 halves squared. And that's going to be 164 or 169 over 4 pi. And it says we can type as a fraction. Wait. Type only the coefficient. I don't know. I don't know if it says how to type it in. I don't know which way it'll take it. I need to look at that. But they're both correct, so hopefully it takes it both ways. Need to make sure it's set up to do that. Okay. Um, question number four. Outside times total equals outside times total. Outside, x plus one. All of this would be 10x plus three equals outside, 4x minus three, times total 4x minus 3. The outside is the total for a tangent. So I've got a lot of distributing to do. I can do this. You can do this. That'd be 10x squared plus 3x plus 10x plus 3. That's 10x squared plus 13x plus 3. 
Over here, we'd have 16x squared minus 12x minus 12x plus 9. That is 16x squared minus 24x plus 9. Make one side 0. That would be 6x squared minus 13 would be minus 37x. And then minus 3 would be plus 6. So now we're factoring. 6 times 6 is 36. What factors of 36 add to 37? It's going to be 36 and 1. I need them both negative because it needs to be negative 37. How do I get 36 and 1? Well, does 6 and 1 get me that? Yes. 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. 1 times negative 1 is the other one. So what are my solutions? This would be add 1, divide by 6, and this would be add 6. But I need to test them out. Do they both work? If I plugged in 1 sixth, um, it would be fine here. 1 6 plus 1, that's fine. 1 6, doesn't matter what this is, plus 2, it's going to be good. Those are all positive. But what about here? 4, um, this is basically 4 times 1 sixth minus 3. Well, 4 times 1 6, that's 4 6 minus 3. That's going to be negative. So 1 6 does not work. You have to plug your answers in and test them. 6 is the only number that works. All right, we have two chords. It's going to be part times part. That would be 3x plus 2 times 6 minus x equals part times part, 4 times 7. So we distribute. That would be... 3x times 6 would be 18x minus 3x squared plus 12 minus 2x equals 28. Clean that up. It's going to be negative 3x squared. So that's negative 3x squared. I have 18 minus 2. That would be plus 16x, right? And then I would have plus 12 equals 28. So negative 3x squared plus 16x. Subtract the 28, I get minus 16 equals 0. I want my 3x squared positive, so I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. This is one way you could do this. So that's positive 3x squared minus 16x plus 16. Every sign changes. And now it's factoring. So I'm going to change color so we can see a little better. 3 times 16, that's 48. I need factors of 48 that add to equal 16. That's going to be 12 and 4, but it's negative 16, so it's negative 12, negative 4. Make my parentheses. I know it has to be 3x times x. How do I get 12 from 3? Be times negative 4. Now I have negative 12. How do I get negative 4? Be times just negative 4. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. So how do we solve this? We add 4, divide by 3, and we add 4. We plug them in. Are either one of these going to be issues? Um, well, they're both positive, so the, this will work for sure. That's just a positive plus a positive. We're good for sure. This could be an issue. Do they both work out? 6 minus 4 thirds, that's good. That's positive. 6 minus 4, that's good. That's positive. So they both work. Both answers are, in fact, correct. So we need them both. All right. And I think that's the last one. Yeah. Um, the area of the circle is 676 pi. So I whew, let's get going. That would be pi r squared. So 676 pi equals pi r squared. The pi's cancel out. So the square root of 676, I think, is 26. Yep, we did that in another video. So the radius is 26. Okay, that's good. Um, if a, b is 48, so let's look at the picture. AB is 48. That means it's going to be split 24, 24. The radius, draw the best radius, is 26. And we're going to hit with a Pythagorean theorem. So we have a right triangle with a 24. So divide by 2 would be 12. Divide by 2 would be 13. So this is going to be 10. Find CD, that's going to be 10. That's a 5, 12, 13. Times it by 2, and we got it. All right, so yeah, fun assignment. You know, a couple of hard factoring questions. Both of those were tough factoring questions. Overall, lots of fun, though. I'll see you guys next time.